like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars now listen very carefully what does it mean to be saved it doesn't mean to walk out here and cry recite a chant and go back it is very possible that you can do all that and yet you are not saved the matter of salvation is not about coming forward or remaining or reciting something you were told to recite are we together now according to scripture there are two major components that must be involved in genuine salvation number one that the message of salvation must be articulately communicated you cannot give your life to nothing if you believe in jesus as a friend you are not wrong but you are not saved by that declaration that belief if you believe in jesus as a prophet an apostle you believe in jesus as god that does not save you there is an exact information about jesus you must believe that translates to salvation are we together paul preached that message intelligently on the day of pentecost he said let it be known to you that this same jesus that you have crucified has today been exalted as lord and christ it matters what you believe about jesus when it has to do listen carefully when it has to do with salvation you must believe listen carefully you must believe and admit your current state that you are unable to help yourself and that by the righteousness of the law and the righteousness that comes through yourself and through your works you are unable to be saved salvation only comes through faith that is in christ are we together the Bible does tell us that our righteousness, the best of us, is as filthy rags. There's no point for argument. And then the Bible also declares that the wages of sin is death. As simple as that. That the soul that sins will die. And by that verdict, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Are we together? So Jesus now comes as a mediator. He comes as an expression of the Father's love. That since you are unable to meet the righteous standards of God, I have come in covenant to receive of your nature of sin and to pay the due price, the due penalty for sin. And Isaiah the prophet was speaking and said, he shall see the travail of his soul. Jesus did not come to die for himself. No. Jesus did not come to die for a few people. For in Paul's message on the day of Pentecost, he said, Men and brethren, what shall we do? And, and Peter replied, he said, Repent for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive this promise. He says, For the promise is unto you and unto your children, even as many as are far off, they that the Lord himself will call. So when it has to do with salvation, it is for everyone. But you must believe in the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus. That Jesus came, became sin, became a man. And he died in exchange to purchase redemption for you. Are we together? That when you believe in Jesus Christ with your heart, according to Romans chapter 10, reading from verse 9 and 10, that if you believe with your heart the Lord Jesus Christ and you confess with your mouth his lordship, you shall be saved. And the law is in verse 10. It says, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Verse 13 says, neither um, is there... He said, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. There is no salvation in any other. Now, the beautiful thing about salvation is that God still respects your will, your ability to choose. That means as an act of your will and your volition consciously, you can listen to this message and say, Jesus, I choose as an act of my will to reject you. Meaning I reject your life, meaning I reject your Holy Spirit, meaning I reject the potential for dominion, meaning I reject eternal security and redemption, meaning I reject everything that is God rejecting jesus is a public declaration of your eternal fraternity with satan the moment you reject jesus consciously satan no longer becomes an illegal person in your life to reject jesus is automatically to embrace satan 
to embrace all the causes, the woes, and all the things that plague our world today. Submitting your heart and your life to Jesus is more than becoming a Christian. It's more than the religiosity of coming into a faith practice that acknowledges Jesus as Lord. It is a relationship. It says, Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. This is the only faith practice I know of that thrives on relationship, not just rituals. Although he is God, you can know him. This is eternal life, John 17 and verse 3. That they may know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. And we are mandated by God to go and preach, he says, to preach the gospel to all creation. What is the gospel? The good news. A holistic capture of all that Jesus has done as proof of the Father's love. Now, you can reject Jesus whilst you are listening to me, whether online or on site. I will painfully respect your will, however, to your detriment. But Jesus is giving someone a chance right now. You probably were invited for the first time. You are somewhere scattered within, outside. Or for someone, you've heard these teachings and these messages again and again, but you are yet to make up your mind. The Bible says today, if you hear his voice, you can hear his voice and assume he's not speaking to me. Apostle, I came to be healed. Talk about healing. Apostle, I came because I'm tired of poverty. I came to access the grace for favor. Indeed, you will find it because this is the house of God. But can I tell you, if you come to my house and eat my food, sleep on my bed, use my restroom and ignore me and walk away, you cannot call me friend. He desires a relationship. You can come and receive of the fringe benefits of redemption. But more than the things that he will give you, he's presenting to you tonight the gift of himself. The greatest gift that can be given himself with his life coming alongside his wisdom his power and you may say apostle you don't know who is sitting and listening to you you don't know the story of my life i've done everything evil to be done jesus extends his love even for people like you for while he walked upon the earth he said those that are without sickness do not need a physician now that you have acknowledged that you need his help he can come to you as the savior even the physician it's the savior he can move your mountain my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever the author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave Jesus conquered the grave. Your Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. The offer of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Heroes and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Heroes and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Hallelujah. I'm about to make an altar call. An invitation to Jesus is like an invitation by one who is greater than the president of the nation, as a matter of fact to come we, we rejoice over many things when you are given um, a visa or a passport or citizenship of another nation people rejoice they roll on the ground when you are given a job you rejoice over your employment letter what jesus offers you is life even abundant life are we together i'm going to make a call one to five calling on two groups of people number one those who have heard me and are determined while you were listening to me the holy spirit whether you know him or not you know that he's the one nudging you for those who are following online the lord jesus is calling you wherever you are <laughs> savior he can move the mountain my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save 
forever the author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave Jesus conquered the grave sing Savior Savior he can move a mountain my God is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave Jesus conquered the grave he rose and conquered my pain Jesus conquered my pain he rose and conquered my shame Jesus conquered my shame come come to Jesus salvation is for all men neither is there salvation in any other name there is no other name given unto men under heaven by which we must be saved now listen to me the next thing i would ask you to do is to mean every confession and every word are we together now yes for our god is champion Forevermore. 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 There is only one name. There is only one name. That's our confession tonight. There is only one name. With power to save. Please lift your right hand as high as it can get. This is unto Jesus, the Son, the King, the Savior, Lord, and even Christ. Say this after me as loud as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, I declare that I believe in you. I declare that you are my Savior. I declare that you are my Lord. I declare that you are my king. I believe with my heart that you died for my sin. And I confess with my mouth that you rose from the grave even for me. Right now, I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken. Say it again, it's broken. I declare that from tonight I am a child of God. I am a bona fide recipient of eternal life. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, the Bible declares that as many who will come to you, that you will in no wise cast away. You have brought this many to you. The Bible says, I believe in the gospel. It calls it the power of God unto salvation. And in the name of Jesus, I declare over you, according to the integrity of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. The power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave, it is destroyed from this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. And here is my prophecy for you from tonight. The sun will no more give you sunlight by day. The moon will no more give you moonlight by night. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright When Yahweh binds up the wounds of this world He heals all the bruises inflicted by this world Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you very much for making this bold declaration